That was the longest shower in the history of time. What are you doing there? I can't find my briefcase. What are these, uh, what are these paintings doing here? Oh, I had to put them here because this is now my office but for they my were in the therapy. bathroom. And now they're here. They were in the bathroom and now they're here. Oh. And they look nice against the wall. Yeah, so, they were see? a gift from my law partners. Well, and... and uh, wait, this is, this is the award I got from the Bar Association. Oh, is that what that is? I like that it's sculpture in, It was lot. in my office. Yes, I've removed it from your office and brought it here. It looks good, see? What, what, look how good that looks. What, are, are you doing therapy now? Not right now. I'm not doing therapy with no one. I'm not well, insane. Hey, there's my briefcase and my computer. Yes. Well, that's where I put... No, don't touch it. Don't I have it all set up? For what? So that you could see... I want to demonstrate what I'm doing. I think you should know what your wife is up to now. Okay, what do, what do we do? I don't... What are we going to talk about? Kip, you have to look into your... That's what it's set up for. We don't what? look at each other like... I'm not having anyone at the house, all right? <sighs> That's the beauty of this. Yes, you I, don't I, pay I, for an office rental anymore, I know. all you, right? You had six patients. What was the point? You're not due in court or anything, so let's just have a little mini session. I want to include you in my life, I think. That's a nice thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. All right, All right, good. Three minutes, here we go. Three minutes, and you can pretend to be someone else or just be yourself, okay. whichever is more comfortable for you. Hello, uh, I'm Dr. Fiona Wallace. How are you? And you have to look at you. I won't be sitting with you, obviously. That's why, see, know, it's over the internet. But I'm, but I'm in the room with you. Pretend that you're not, uh, and pretend that yeah, you okay. can only see me, no, access me through the, yeah. I get it, I'm not an idiot, okay. Well, Let's go. You do a good impression mm -hmm. of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that That's was unkind. Funny. I'll, br I'll bring but that it up was, in therapy. It okay. was funny. Okay, Let's, good. Yeah. All right, make up a name. Mm -hmm. Well, call me uh, Bill. My name is Bill. Oh, and, Bill, uh, that's so ordinary. Well, w uh, okay, William. I don't... William. Hi. Okay, Kip, you're William. Okay. Okay. I'm William. Hello, William. Hello. I'm Dr. Fiona Wallace. Hello. So why is it that you have chosen to see me at this juncture? I haven't chosen to see you, but uh, obviously we're making Please this. pretend. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I uh, really have no idea, but uh, I'm William, and I have... Uh, my wife is a controlling kind of person. Good pretending. Okay. Yep. Um, oh, controlling in mm -hmm. what way? Well, just, uh, you know, she's very pushy. She, uh, she's, uh, she likes to, uh, she get, likes to get what she wants. She made me buy this house. Well, right uh, now, you see, you like to play the blame game. She's a, she's just a very needy woman. She's, uh, needy sexually. She's needy, uh, financially. She's, uh, She's needy sexually? In what way? That she'd like to try it out? You know, I don't really want to talk about this. Yeah, let's not talk no, about I that. Talk about I don't it. think that'll no, get it's us not, anywhere. First of all, why open that can of worms? I agree. All right, so let's mm -hmm. think, why might your wife be a little controlling? Well, it beats me. Just, Maybe uh, she doesn't get much from you. Well, she's, uh, she, she, she gets plenty from me. She gets a lot of my money, uh, which uh, she spends uh, just frequently and On without, what? Just uh, ways to make herself look prettier for you? Well, uh, that and uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I would say, waste, really. Is just she like... included in your life? Do you bring her to your firm's Christmas parties? Well, she, uh, she sometimes has a habit of embarrassing her husband oh. sometimes at these parties and, uh... How would he know if he doesn't pay any attention to her, what oh, she's doing? He, 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 he sees her, you know, as she takes off of her, her, her blouse. And, well, uh, maybe she spilled wine on her blouse. Yeah, well... She, All right. Mm -hmm, maybe she did. Maybe she was trying to fend because off one of the partners. Maybe Janowitz was, was making overtures that were inappropriate was, because was, her husband wasn't in evidence and well, she was she, vulnerable. She, she, she was drunk. And uh, she, she did spill the wine all over her and all over several other people. And uh, But, you know, that's not the worst thing. I mean, that... that oh, there's but, worse than well, having a cocktail? Let me hear this horror that you're little, married to. She, she, tends to uh, she tends to be a bit flighty. She left a, a financial firm, a very good job, mm -hmm. in a kind of a suspicious uh, circumstances. We're not quite sure what really went on, whether she was We're not quite she sure. Quit. You don't listen to her, so you're no, not quite sure. It's never really been totally explained. How long have you been married, William? Um, I think it's been uh, 17, 17 years. 17 years, yeah. Oh, that's a long time. But and how long have you been dissatisfied? How long ago was the trip to Aruba? That was, that was two years after we were, 15 years ago. Yeah, so since then. So you've been unhappy you know, for un 15 years. Unhappy, uh, okay, yes. Okay, let's just, it's fine. Go ahead. We're all calm and fine. You've uh -huh. been unhappy for 15 years in and your marriage. 15 and a half years. Mm -hmm. 
of your marriage. You've been unhappy, and, and yet you haven't done anything because, about it, have you? Because I'm a very supportive husband, and uh, I think that if I, uh, if I uh, could, I, I just uh, have some regrets about the commitments that I've made. Can I that. tell you something about what I think? What's that? That either you're not as unhappy as you think, or you're a terrific coward and weakling and don't know how to take care of yourself at all. Otherwise, you would have left. No, I'm happy. That's what it sounds like. All right, very good. Our time is up. Great. Do you see? Do you see how long that took? Yeah, long. Isn't that wonderful? It feels like an hour. Okay, uh, I'm going to go uh, and have a good day. Okay, Bye. thank you. Thank you for doing this, Kip. Really, I appreciate it. And if you want to tell any of your partners or junior partners at the front, oh, let me turn you off. All right, now you can take your laptop and your briefcase. And don't forget to tell everyone in your firm, the partners and junior partners, what a wonderful modality this is for okay, therapy. See you later. All right. Thank you. Will you be home for dinner? All right, bye. Okay. Aruba. Oh, wait, that was our honeymoon. Well, it is you. It is me. Hello, it's you. Richard. Hello, Fiona. It's so nice to see you well, again. Well, it's good to see you. Actually, I can't see you. I, I wanted you to see me without my glasses, but I, oh. I can't. There you are. Oh. Wow. I, uh, I didn't... This is my first time with therapy, so I just... I didn't know what to wear. Well, you don't need to dress for therapy. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's that's true. You okay. don't. Oh, it's been a very long time. A long How time. did you hear about me or that I was doing this? Well, you know, they were over at Lachman Brothers. They were talking about you by the cooler over there at Lachman Brothers. Oh, which Brothers. guys? The guys? What? Well, Bob and uh, you know Stephen and Jeremy. Jeremy was oh, there. Great. Yeah, good. Russell wasn't there. He's. Uh, His opinion never counted. No, it as didn't. As far as I'm it concerned. It didn't. As oh. far as I'm concerned, too. Anyway, I, I'm kind of nervous because I've I've not done therapy and and uh, I I have some things I want to kind of talk about, but I, I don't want to do it for a whole hour or I don't know if I'm going to like this. Well, you'll or... like this because it's only three minutes. And what I've discovered is I have done the 50 minute sessions with people, but they end up going on and on about dreams and feelings and memories and past experiences that add up to a whole lot of nothing as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So, and what I found is that the bulk of the help was really done in three minutes. Okay, well then I, I, won't, I won't bring up any of those kinds of things. Well, unless they're important. How will I know? I will guide you. Oh. That's right. what I'm here for. Okay. I'm your guide. Okay, <laughs> all right, well. So, Richard, I assume it's been difficult for you because getting over a heartbreak can be very tricky. There's depression, and from what you're wearing, it's hard for me to tell if you have gained weight or you've lost weight because there's a lot of material. But um, that is par for the course. I'm sorry, what's your question? I, I, I Mostly, it's a, an expression of concern for your emotional recovery after what your what happened you you're talking about you and me that you mean the incident at Lockman brothers yes of course since you know that horrible incident at, at Lockman brothers where you you just misunderstood i guess the nature of our relationship well um okay it, it seemed to me like it was kind of a mutual flirtation uh you you made it pretty clear you know you literally told me that you, you wanted me to kiss you i guess please lock the door behind you could be interpreted in a myriad of ways but you know truly i'm still married and yeah. you know couldn't possibly have meant anything well no you you beckoned me you told me to come <laughs> into your office. You beckoned you come hither to my lips. No, I don't think I said that. You told me that I had very kissable lips, and you asked me to come <laughs> into your office, and you asked me to shut the door. It was confusing to me. Anyway. Oh, it's funny how we remember things. I, I hope that that's not why you left Lachman Brothers. 
<clears throat> uh, Gina in the front desk said that you referred to my attempt to kiss you as a, you called it a sex crime. And I, I felt that that was kind of harsh. Well, I never liked Gina. Hopefully you don't have much to do with her anymore because that's particularly unkind of her. Has this resolved anything for you seeing me again? Resolved anything? I assume that's why you made the appointment. You're no, no. still trying to mend the, the shattered pieces of your romantic huh. self after I let you down. Well, I wasn't really thinking that, no. But, uh... So you're here to discuss? Yes, I, I, I contacted you uh, to discuss a friend yes. who's having some problems. She's like a little been edgy and nervous and... and, and who is and, this friend? Uh, she's my girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. Oh. And, and she's been distant and, and moody and... That's Almost too not bad. there yes. for me. No, that it's like is she's dismissive. That is hard. You know what, Richard? I'm sorry, but our time is up. It's been well over three minutes now. What? So um, this session is over. They're really only supposed to be three minutes. Um, so we can see each other again next week, and we can pick up where we left off. You're muted now, so I can't hear you because the session has ended. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> how are you? Well, I'm very well, and how are you? Great. You look good. I'm glad to see you took my advice and got something more tailored, like a... Business lady, like bus you. Yes. Your hair is so pretty. It's like a wig. Thank you very much. That's quite a compliment. Um, Listen, I just wanted to thank you for putting up the flyers in the break room because I now have a new client from it. So thank you very much. For oh, are you time. treating Richard for his like weirdo mommy issues? Hi. Well, um, yes, I am. You know, I think though that um, it's probably an issue with a confidentiality issue. So you probably shouldn't technically know that I'm seeing him as a client, so, because I would hate for you to be brought up on charges. Oh, no. No, definitely. Okay, good, good. I love you. Oh, well, you're my, you're my inside man. Because we're like best friends. Oh, thank you. Listen, um, do you, have you seen Richard's uh, new girlfriend? What is she like? Yes, she's very voluptuous. She's what? Voluptuous. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, also, um, you know, I've sent so many emails to Jeremy. Oh my God, they were like, she's resurfacing again. We thought we dodged a bullet. Who said that though? Who, who was that? Yeah, like Jeremy and everybody, they were laughing. And everybody, Jeremy and Robert or? I don't know, it's just good, they remember you. Okay. And it was great um, because they hear your name and they laugh. Um, at, at any rate, though, I need you to schedule in an appointment for me, maybe for okay. Thursday, to come in and talk to him. During the day? Well, yes, during the day, during business hours, dear. Are you sure? <laughs> Hi, Fiona. It's good to see you. I'm glad you returned. Yes. Well, I, I wasn't quite done. <laughs> wow, you look you look fantastic, I, oh, I have to say. Thank you. you. That's some uh, medallion there you've got around your neck. Oh, well, it's jewelry. Anyway. Uh, Did you want to talk about your girlfriend or because I you have an issue with her? Yeah, she's, um, God, she makes me feel great. I love, I, I, I love her, but, uh, I feel but. lately like maybe she's not taking her medication because she's doing so well. We're doing really well. And I feel like she's getting a little edgy and kind of confrontive and, and a little paranoid. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's okay for me to 
talk about the my my thinking that she might not be taking her medication. One second. Okay. Um, so she's crazy. Oh. I just sent you a picture. Yeah, I see that. See that? Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's you. Look at that dress. And you. Yeah. Yes. And I have to say that the man in that picture looks much happier than the picture of the man I see before me right now. Well, thank you. I, in all fairness, you have a very, a very sexy dress on, and I'm a little drunk. I was a little drunk that night. Remember? No, that I remember the night. I remember you were extremely happy. You were a happy fella. Well, and, you kept uh, telling me to drink more, and you were trying to. You said get me out of my shell so that I would make advances. I. I, uh, it's funny, your interpretation of almost every event involves me encouraging you to make advances. But Yeah, I know. It's true. I think that's true because I get, I get mixed signals all the time. Do you know, Richard, can I say something? You look really uncomfortable, and I think your shirt looks like it's very tight, that top button. Do you want to unbutton it? Yeah, there. I do. Okay. There you yeah. go. Just to unbutton it, because it was pulling. Oh, I feel like I can breathe again. Good. Wow. Good. So it's not working with the girlfriend. I mean, the question I have for you is, what is it that you feel you are unentitled to? I'm just wondering why you feel like you're not entitled to be with a woman who is intelligent and sexy and beautiful. And instead, you feel like you need to be with someone who is um, insecure. Well, so I'm making her feel flawed and and disabled and insecure, and that's it. I'm well, and, right? I, I I need to I need to let her know that I want her in my life for the rest of my life. I'm gonna. I'm going to take her to, her favorite restaurant is Morimoto. I'm taking her there on Thursday. And I'm going to ask her to marry me. I'm going to ask her to be my wife. This is, thank you. This is very helpful. Um, okay, I, 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 will, I will see you next time. I don't. Sheila, get out your party dress. <laughs> Here, I sent you my proposal for the Lockman Brothers over five minutes ago. I haven't heard from you. Couldn't have taken that long to read. Honey, you're just downstairs. You know, you could easily come up. But I'm down here All looking right. at my schedule. Yes, I, I read it. It's, it's, it's a little convoluted, but I think you make your points. And I just don't understand why you, you need $200,000 in the startup fee. Because that's how much it is. I am not web therapy. I work for web therapy, and web therapy has to pay me but for my services. I want at least $150,000. i am worth it, I think. But you get paid by your clients. I don't, I, what are you going to do, redecorate that's your office? Not much. Well, $25 well for then, a session. Well, then how do you expect to pay back the money you've, you've this is investment. a new treatment modality it hasn't please been done please before don't, please don't explain it again really I, I i just i can't bear to hear it again uh, i just want to say one thing if you're going to invest if, if you want if you want investors to, to give you actual money mm -hmm. uh, if you want the lockman brothers to invest in this proposal mm -hmm. you should take out the whole insinuation of blackmail because I don't think they're going to go for that. I don't think it's going to fly. Oh, I don't think it's as much blackmail as it is incentive that mm. I'm removing the very real threat that I had imposed before because I was mistreated there. W where did this whole sexual harassment idea come from? You never mentioned it. I never heard anything about it. I, I don't understand. I told you about it. I must have told you no, about I, it. I don't think you did. What? What? There what were closed doors and propositions and propositions by who? Oh, I mean, maybe I didn't tell you no, about you, it. No, actually, you didn't. Well, who, right, that's who, possible. who? Who? Who was involved in this? And and what? What? What actually went on? Was there? Was there touching? Was there groping? Not, was there... not without my consent. Okay, this is so baffling to me. Well, I, you I, should know better than I. I'm just, 
What is that supposed to mean? You're an attorney. Oh, yes, I've, I've... I'm sure you conduct yourself in a certain way at your office. Well, There's of course I do. There's a workplace decorum. Of course I do. I just don't understand how, how you expect to get money from this. Uh, and, and if I was a member of Lockman Brothers, I, I wouldn't invest because, let's face it, the only thing that makes money on the Internet is sex and genealogy. So I've heard that. So you've heard. Oh, that's, all right. that's what I've but heard. But you don't have any concrete evidence of no, that. No, I don't. Then. I don't. You know, I don't use the internet. Oh, good. Well, then I'll tell them not to call you. Well, well thank then, you. Then, then no, I, I, you know, listen. I want the best for you. I, I really, I hope this all works out. I appreciate But really, that. you know, can 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 we just? Uh, what time are you coming to bed? Well, why are we in the mood for a little something, at long last? <laughs> Is there any soup in the house? Yes, there's soup in the refrigerator. I'd, I'd kill for a little tomato soup. All right, I'll bring some up. Thanks. Hello, Jerome. Oh, hi, are you there? You're there. I'm here, but you are partly there. Oh, you, once again, don't understand where the camera is in your I, laptop or I, whatever it I, is you have at work. Well, I can see it. Wait, is, this, is this better? Hold on. There, yes. Right. Can yes. you see me now? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Yes. Um, I'm glad that um, you were able to meet me at this time. This is the time that we both agreed on. That's okay. fine. Remember, Jerome, now you only have three minutes. It's not the 50-minute sessions. You know, the whole point is that you can actually achieve something during your sessions, which I think was a real struggle for you. Well, it... it it was, but I have to say that I, I was getting the impression in the last couple of sessions that I was boring you. And that... I'm not bored. I mean, I have enough of an inner intellectual life to keep interested in anything that I... even you could be saying. <laughs> All right. Okay. Listen, this is good. It brings me to something I've been wanting to discuss with you. Um, I was really very hopeful when I switched you from the 50-minute in-person sessions yeah. to these truncated three-minute sessions, right. hoping it would prompt you to get to your issues right. so that we could do some real work instead right. of the self-indulgent sort of blather, yeah. you know, that right. occupies a 50-minute session. Right. Um, alas, that hasn't happened. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. So I'm feeling like I don't know if either one of us is getting anything out of this. I'm glad that you're mentioning this because I, I also have, have made an appointment with a, with a different therapist, uh, Dr. Shulman, oh. who specializes uh, in family psychosexual incest issues and... Incest? Yes. Why on earth would you need to see... Someone about incest, Jerome. Well, something has come up uh, between me and, and my fiance, Haley. Um, okay, after yes. I found out that my father, you know, the one I told you abandoned us, um, he had been making most of his money selling sperm samples. And um, as it turns out, her lesbian moms used my father's sperm to have her. And so it seems that you two are related, I guess. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, Jerome, this is very important. I, I, At thank long you. last, we have what I think is a real issue. Listen, I need to see you and Haley because I do couples counseling as well. Well, I, I sort of thought that maybe this was out of your area of expertise. And Dr. Shulman specializes in family psychosexual incest issues. What makes you think I don't specialize in incest? No, I, I, oh, Why I would you make that assumption? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you, you do. Oh, okay, I did not know that. I, I, you know what? All right, Jerome, I have to tell you something. I think what's happening here, I have to let you know, is very unethical. Oh, no, I, 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 we haven't slept together since I found out. No, you're moving this case to another therapist oh. without properly terminating with me. That's something you and I would be discussing. Yes, I'm sorry about this that. This is an issue of intellectual property, which I own. You, you own it. And I think that you're so caught up in your own uh, personal drama regarding this that you're not thinking about the bigger picture, which is you're not alone in this, Jerome. Okay. There uh, are many, many people, especially of your generation and younger, 
who have these issues now with all of these sperm doning parents and single sex parents and you know an egg comes from somewhere and a sperm comes from somewhere else and uh, next thing you know you've got an entire neighborhood of relatives right you know it's like the old the, the ozarks okay I, yeah I, if I, I will bring haley next time i'll bring haley with me bring next haley time. next will time you just don't, don't mention the bedwetting to her kip i have incest now <laughs> Well, that's sex and genealogy, right? It's kind of funny to rehash the past. You look good. Anyway. Well, what's done is... <laughs> this is my stress ball. <laughs> I collect rubber bands.